Hello everyone, it's Kamal and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you three photography apps for your smartphones, or rather one photo editing one and two video apps in a sense. So without further ado, let's just get it rolling. The first app I'm going to talk about is a photo editing app called Polar and it basically kind of works like VSCO, so you just import your pictures and you can use the presets that the apps give you. But where it differs is that even if you don't get the membership, you have access to many, many, many good filters, which have very different looks, darker, brighter ones, vintage, more artsy looks, lots of things. I mean, they're really good filters and you can get shots like these. As you can see, you can get many different looks with them. And so I'd really feel that if you want to quickly edit your photos on the go and don't have access to Lightroom or something, well, this is a very good app for quick photo editing on the go. Now, the second app I want to talk to you about is actually something that's really interesting and it's something I thought that was going to be included in iOS 14 but turned out it didn't and it's an application called Focus Live. And this application basically lets you do portrait mode video. So you can film with your smartphone and still get the background blur that you would associate with a higher end camera. Now it's not perfect, but once you learn the patterns and the shapes that it can properly cut out and you learn like how it actually works and with what it works well you can really use this application at your advantage simply because it grants you the ability to not bring your camera with you and you can replace it with your smartphone let's say you're vlogging with your phone but you want higher grade looking footage you can use that and not only that that's just a little touch but i really like it while you're actually filming with the app you can actually see in a small window how it creates the depth map so you can see how the phone is actually seeing the depth, so the distance between objects in your video, which is a nice touch. It grants you the ability to spice up your smartphone video game, just to make it look not only a bit more cinematic, but if not that, just a bit more pleasing to the eye. Now the last application on this list today, which is probably my favorite one of the three, is called Film, but with two M's. Go figure. It's a really cool application because it lets you apply somewhat vintage effects to your video, so you can add like vintage frames. Uh, like buzzing effects, film grain, uh, lens flares and stuff and it just looks good to the eye honestly it just looks so pleasing and they all look so well you have a wide variety of different frames, different types of cameras 35mm, 16mm and so this whole package just lets you have better looking video I guess I mean personally I use it a bit more for Instagram stories rather than full on videos but I mean when you, when you can get footage like that I mean, why not, honestly? Looks great to me. And that wraps up this short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below which one of the three apps you like the most or what video you'd like to see next. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.